What's the most WTF way you've seen someone brag about being rich? Scanning receipts for some very expensive purchases and making an album of all of them on Facebook. This is like a hip-hop video clip for people who aren't gangster enough. This kid in my high school got a Porsche 911 the day he got his permit. He was chauffeured to school in it every day for the next 6 months by his personal driver. When he got his license. He drove it for like 3 months and then complained about having to downgrade to a BMW M5 because it handled snow better. I knew a girl in primary school who said her dad was so rich that she'd be at Eton but her mum said she should mix with normal people and go to a state school. Every time someone says anything to my cousin about her stuff. She has to make a point to tell you how much it costs. For example. You. Wow nice house. My cousin. Thanks it was 5 million dollars. You. I like your shoes my cousin. Thanks they were 2500 dollars. You. Nice nose my cousin. Thanks it was 20 dollars. OMG. I am the same way. But it's usually about how cheap something is. You. Nice glasses. Me. Thanks. I got 3 pairs for like $25. You. Nice shirt. Me. Thanks. Clearance rack at Anthro. You. Nice baby. Me. Thanks. I made her myself. Edit. Ro. Reddit gold and I had time to mop my kitchen? This is the best day of my life. I had a guy come into the GameStop I used to work at that would tell stories about throwing money off balconies. He went to buy this game once and after I told him the total. He pulled out an absurd wad of 100s and counted them all out on my counter. After reaching $7000. He then asks. Wait. How much was it again? Blank stare. 18 bucks. FCKU. Tesh. How much was it again? Seven dollars. Zero zero zero. This copy of Cooking Mama is seven dollars. Zero zero zero. I have a similar story to this. I worked at a yogurt shop for a few years and people's total generally amounted to three dollars four per cup. So this tool with a whiffer beater on comes in with two girls. One on each side. And proceeds to pay. I tell him his total. Which probably was around four dollars. He then pulls out stacks of 100s, 50s, and 20s and asks me if I see any 1s. All in the meantime. The trio of douchedicks are snickering and laughing. And eventually pays with a $20 bill. A friend paid for dinner the other night saying I'm about to drop 250 bucks to cover everyone's tabs. Loudly and repeatedly. He then yelled this bill is nothing to me. I just got a huge check from my company. IF King love being rich. He is also on reddit and follows my comments. So now he knows that we all know. Edit. I'd write down his username for you all. But I forgot my pen. The son of the governor came into my retail store complaining of a broken dishwasher. I checked to see when he purchased it. He'd owned it for 2 years. I told him there was nothing that I could do other than help him get it serviced or sell him a new one. Both options would leave him without a dishwasher for more than a week. He snapped at me and told me how he couldn't do dishes manually because his time was worth more than that. He proceeded to tell me how much he makes per hour and asked if I was going to come do his dishes. I said. No. But if you make that much you should be able to afford some paper plates. My ex is a very successful lawyer with his own firm. After I would cook dinner for us. We would sit at the large dining room table and he would make a point to sit at the opposite end, 12 ft. Away. I would comment about it saying I wish he would sit closer while just the two of us ate. He would reply. You obviously wouldn't understand. But this is how rich people eat. He also left price tags on everything he would purchase for his house. Face up. So everyone could see his ugly $12.000 lamp. Haha <laughs> maybe in F King cartoons rich people eat like that. Comma you obviously wouldn't understand. But this is how rich people eat. What an enormous doucher bag. 
a kid I knew really wanted a PS2 and there was this rich kid who knew this and bought two PS2s and smashed one in front of the other kid who had wanted one. There's a guy in my group who can't stop talking about how awesome it is that his rich mom pays for everything for him. The funniest thing to watch is when he's hitting on our waitress, because he always hits on the waitress. Every time we go out, and the check comes. And he proudly tells her that his bill is going on his mom's credit card. Oh yeah. Dude. You're really going to impress her with that one. Are you still friends with that guy? Edit. I have to admit. I didn't think that question through. My dad had a better story than any I have. Basically. When he was growing up. One kid he went to school with and lived near was rich. This kid wasn't averse to announcing it too. But his favorite way of displaying it was with new trinkets toys. So one day. He emerges into daylight with a brand new. And quite fancy. Skateboard. This is early on. When skateboards weren't yet associated with names like Tony Hawk and so on. Close bracket. After trying for all but 30-40 minutes and not being able to land a single trick. The douche gets fed up. Picks up the skateboard. And hurls it into a wooded area off the road. As he does this. He screams fight for it peasants. Comma as he does this. He screams fight for it peasants. This is the kind of shti Joffrey Berathian would pull. I never wear the same socks twice. Wasn't there a thread recently where some guy talked about doing this? And how it gave him rashes after a while? Apparently new socks are washed with some chemical that is totally safe if you're only exposed to it every once in a while. But if you're wearing a brand new pair of socks literally every day for a very long time. It causes rashes or something. Out of all the things in this thread. This is the only one that made me jelly. I used to help tutor a self-described rich kid. One time he had just purchased a new car. I believe it was an Audi something or other. We were out for drinks with my other friend. Who was a corporate lawyer. My lawyer friend was by no means poor. So the chat with the Audi made the mistake of rubbing it in my face that he had a new car. He said something like well if you keep tutoring successful people like me. Maybe one day you two could have something nice. My lawyer buddy just started laughing. He then said get f ked you shtty mama's boy. My dad owns the dealership you got the shti car from. It's financed. Unlike my escalade which I paid for in cash. Maybe if you keep studying. One day you won't have monthly payments. Like a f king commoner. I guess my lawyer friend was sticking up for me. Meh. It's the thought that counts. I was bumped up to first class on my way home from a trip. I've never been in first class and assumed it was just better seats and food options but no. I was suddenly treated differently as if I had suddenly become more important than everyone else on the plane. I especially remember at the end of the flight when first class was unloading. My bags were still in the back of the plane so I didn't get up right away and was planning on waiting for everyone to get off before me. The flight attendants offered to make everyone make way for me to get to the back of the plane. Get my bags. And get off. I told her that I didn't want to inconvenience everyone and she responded. Maybe they are the ones inconveniencing you. This statement took me by surprise. Is this really the way rich people think? Perhaps not the most WTF story ever but it was shocking for me. Man this sucks. My mum only got me the less expensive Lamborghini model, instead of the, the more expensive Lamborghini model, a 16 year old male whose dad raced horses where I waited tables. Although I did get a $100 tip for getting his dad a cup of coffee and him a monster. My friend asks another friend why does he always carry so much cash on him, over $2000 on a random Thursday night, to which he replied you never know when you'll have to buy a car. Yes. The guy was dickhead. Sounds like he was really just a poor planner. Me. I always know when I have to buy a car at least a day or two ahead of time. Reading this thread I'm getting a better understanding of why history is dotted with incidents of very poor people brutally murdering very rich people. I'm so pissed at my mom. I mean it's my 16th birthday not hers. 
I should be able to get the BMW if I want it. She just keeps pushing the Mercedes on me though. I am going to be so mad if my birthday rolls around and the Mercedes is out front. It felt like I was in a MTV show. I wanted to throw up. My ex roommate's parents are millionaires. The wife is an alcoholic biologist. And the husband is a pill popping doctor that's been banned from practicing at our local hospital. So he runs a private practice out of his house. My roommate would flaunt the money by spending hundreds a night at the strip club on drinks. Etc. For her 20th birthday. Her parents got her lab and surgery and constantly bragged about it. She bragged about getting bariatric surgery? Wow that's dedication. I went to a bar at school with my fiancé and some friends. We sat near a guy and a girl on a first date. The girl. On numerous occasions. Actually complained about various vacations she went on with her family. Like the guy would mention something. She would bring up how something similar happened when she went to X. And then would make a negative comment about the trip or the location. I could hear most of this because she was so fckin loud. By the time we left the guy was visibly checking other girls out and genuinely not listening to her at all. My cousin put up a post on Facebook complaining that since she, her son and husband moved to their new neighborhood they only ever see Bentleys, Jaguars, Range Rovers and the like driving down the streets. She was complaining that when she and her son now go on walks they are getting bored of calling out all the same cars and she wishes that someone would just drive a damn Toyota and make our walks interesting. There's a Swedish thing called Vaska, Eng. To put something in the sink. Which is popular amongst semi-rich kids. Basically they order two of the same champagne hamburger whatever and ask the staff to pour one in the sink. I'll take the most expensive thing on the menu. Lobster. Stuffed with tacos. In elementary school some kid claimed he was so rich his poop was made of gold. He said he's nice so he gives poor people his poop. Edit. I might have met him again. I just got the golden poop. Saw a white boy at a movie theater with some skanky looking girl that he was trying to impress. Walks up and orders a $7 popcorn. Hands the lady a $100 bill. She just looks at him and says. You have anything smaller? He pauses for a sec. And says. Dot. Yeah. I guess and proceeds to hand her one of the tens in his wallet. Working as a cashier. A customer brought items up but told me to wait for his girlfriend. His girlfriend, about 10-20 years younger than him, had flowers. He exclaims. You're going to get dirt on the BMW seats. He then turns to me and says. I drive a BMW 745 aisle. Don't care. Next. I ask if he would like to pay cash. Credit. Or debit. He takes out his card. Taps it on the counter to show it is not plastic but metal. Ooh fancy. And says. American Express. Black. Whoop the do. You drive a BMW 7 series and have a black card. You have a large credit limit and a luxury sedan. Jokes on him when you don't accept American Express. I've got more Mercedes Benzes than a Hitler motorcade. Just a few weeks ago one of my friends posted that he bought a horse to go along with the amount of property he has. Now he is posting about how the horse has gas, grazing too much, and he is scared to try to go near it. I'm about ready to call animal control anonymously fearing that it is being neglected by a grown man that wanted a pony. And got one. You probably should. A friend overheard the following in a Dallas bar after her friend turned down some frat boys. Doesn't she know my trust fund is bigger than her clit? So that's two things he can't touch until he's grown up. Edit. Blimey internet gold. Cheers whoever you are. Have a bloody lovely day night. From my experience. People that actually have money or come from money do not talk about it. It's those with fleeting wealth that brag. That picture of Drake at a club where he is has a box of bills and keep grabbing packs of them to make it rain. I once heard a kid say he got two juicy drinks in his lunchbox. 
I saw someone burn money in a bonfire. I have an acquaintance whose family is loaded. This family went through a rough time when their son, acquaintance's brother, died in a plane crash. It was through a university because his brother had been going to school to become a pilot. A few years later. My acquaintance and I meet up at a bar and he starts telling me about how his family is trying to sue the university because the guy died while in their program. And he was happy about it. It seemed to me like he had forgotten his brother had died. And just cared about getting more wealthy. This was all so fked up to me. I can't look at this kid the same way. Which is why I say he's an acquaintance. I have a friend who I consider to come from an affluent family and he judges people on how big their house is. Or if he can't see that. How expensive their shoes are. I don't know if he'll be able to get a good look at my shoe that far up his ass. I was going to this fancy restaurant in SF and this guy in a Porsche 911 convertible was about to back into this street parking spot when another dude with his girlfriend in a Lexus convertible pull into the spot. Lexus guy gets out of the car laughing and tells Porsche guy now that's fast. The Porsche guy sits there for a second and then proceeds to lay some rubber and smash into the Lexus. Lexus guy and girl are standing on the sidewalk with their jaws dropped. Porsche guy gets out of his car. Walks over to Lexus guy. Hands him his insurance card and says now that's rich. I taught math in a Russian supplementary school and tutored through college. Russian immigrant kids seem to be rich these days. Unlike when my own family moved over and we shared our tiny Brooklyn apartment with giant rats for a while. It was surreal to hear 8 year olds talking about birthday money the likes of which I couldn't earn in a month teaching the little bastards. Most of them were pretty charming though. So. Personal shame moment. I grew up in a very comfortable household and all my girlfriends and I were going on spring break without parents. So we were all pretty excited. About a month before spring break. My friend found out she couldn't go because something broke on her car and she had to spend all the money she'd saved to have it repaired. I was really annoyed for whatever reason and told my mom that I couldn't understand why her parents didn't just pay for it. And said. It's really inconvenient to be friends with poor people. My mom just stared at me blankly and walked away. The next morning I woke up to find all of my designer clothes gone and the keys to my nice-ish car mysteriously absent. I was informed that I'd be riding the bus for the next month, which was really embarrassing at my school, not sure why, and volunteering at a homeless shelter. I absolutely learned from it and look back in absolute shame horror that I ever said that. So. Good news. Assholes can be reformed. Also. It helps when your parents aren't assholes and can put you in your place. Yeah. The guy wearing the $4. 000 suit is holding the elevator for the guy who doesn't make that in 4 months. Come on. Edit. Bro. My highest rated comment ever. Thanks. One day I was visiting a house of a friend. When I pull into the driveway. He gets out to greet me. I opened my trunk to grab my laptop and slammed it close. He turned and said. Hey man. This is a rich neighborhood. We don't slam our car trunk like that. He was not kidding. In middle school I knew a kid who claimed he was so rich that raccoons didn't come on his property. It wasn't that they paid for fences or anything. No. The raccoons just knew. TL. DR kid claimed raccoons only visit the poor. This one douche I knew bought a brand new black Benz S600. Brought it to my friend's shop and parked it right in one of the bays. He then took a huge bag of coke and dumped it on the hood and then rolled up a Benji and snorted black lines into the blanket of white. He did shti like this everywhere. He's dead now. FCK him. Going around at night shouting I'm Batman. Watch the Queen of Versailles. It's on Netflix instant. My aunt thinks it's funny to tear up hundred dollar bills. And throw the pieces into the wind in front of homeless people so that she can make fun of them as they try to grab the prices. That is so incredibly callous. What the hell? Is that story as real as your find of $1000s worth of Magic the Gathering cards in a locked safe? 
When I was young. I was acquainted with the son of a dealership owner, a rather nice one to this day. I must have asked him if he was rich or something to that extent. He replied back with I prefer to be called wealthy. It had something to do with wealthy sounding humble compared to rich. I remember thinking how ridiculous that sounded. Edit. Dealership owner. On my first date. My now ex told me that his past girlfriends loved bragging about how rich he was. He was indeed rich. But a cheating asshole who's not worth a penny. I would be more concerned about how they all died. I saw the guy who made a small arcade in his garage with his father. And so this rich asshole rubbed it in by one-upping him with an arcade basement. Nearly 3x the games. Completely furnished with a bar and alcohol.